Uh, are you thirsty? So am I. Let's make six different Animal Crossing drinks. So Animal Crossing New Horizons has tons of drink items, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make real life versions of them using simple recipes. And it all starts with simple syrup. Simple syrup could not be more simple. Get it, did you get it? Sugar, water, and partially inverted refiner syrup. Um, This is golden syrup, this is from the UK. You don't have to use this. You could use regular old corn syrup or even honey, but it helps for the syrup not to crystallize. And I'm only gonna use about a teaspoon. That's all we're gonna need. Bring this to a boil and stir it. Pour it into a jar and let it cool completely. Once it cools down, you can store it in the fridge for, I don't know, months, but you'll probably use it before then. That's why I made a small batch so you can go through it really quick. Now let's use it to make some delicious drinks. Starting with iced coffee. I make mine with espresso, but you can use any coffee that you have on hand. In goes the coffee or espresso, and I'm gonna go about two teaspoons of simple syrup. Stir that up. Fill my fancy glass full of ice. Pour on the sweetened coffee. Make a big mess, by the way, like I did. Don't actually do that. I topped it off with a little bit of water, and I'm gonna add my secret ingredient, salt. Trust me on this. Stir that in. This is so simple, but believe me when I say it's one of the tastiest summer beverages you're ever gonna have. It tastes weirdly clean. I know that's a weird thing to call coffee, but it tastes weirdly clean. The only way I can think of improving this is by adding dairy, which brings us to our next drink, iced cafe latte. I'm using cow milk, but you can use oat, you can use nut, you can use raccoon. I'm gonna pour it over a spoon so that it makes a nice ombre effect. Look at that. Ooh. All right, so summer drinks, milk is often a bad choice, but the outlier is when you use it sparingly and when you add it to coffee. I'm actually gonna stir it up now. So I usually start my mornings with a cappuccino. I think I'm gonna replace it with this, at least until summer cools off. Drink number three, milkshake. My milkshake does not, in fact, bring all the boys to the yard. It doesn't bring girls either, or non-binary folks. I don't have a lot of, um, what's the word? I don't have a lot of shake, but I know how to make a really good homemade milkshake with a secret ingredient. Here's how. I need ice cream, of course. I made this myself, but you can use store-bought. All right, we're gonna use half a cup of milk, and then we're gonna add enough ice cream, vanilla ice cream, until it reaches one and a half cups. That's the magic of displacement. Wait, there's more. I'm gonna use a wee pinch of xanthan gum. It's gonna make everything nice and thick and creamy, but you don't wanna overdo it. That's about as much as you're gonna need. And honestly, that's probably too much. Half of that, barely a snifter. In it goes into your favorite blender. Pulverize it. Pour it into your glass. Look how thick that is. Don't forget your straw. But how does it taste? That is so good. I think I might add a little bit less milk next time. Seriously, try this. It tastes like a fast food milkshake, which, you know, depending on who you ask, is a good thing or a bad thing. I kind of like it when milkshakes just taste like chemicals. This doesn't have a chemically taste to it, but it does have that texture that I want it to have, which you only really get with fast food milkshakes. Oh my God, it's so good. Drink number four, lemon iced tea. All right, for the lemon iced tea, we're gonna start with a lemon, of course. We're gonna slice it into quarters. And we're gonna put it in a glass. I'm using a measuring cup so that you can see what's happening. A little bit of mint, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of simple syrup. I'm gonna take my small little rolling pin and I'm going to basically beat the crap out of this. Really wanna get in there. Uh, you want to not only juice the lemon, but also release a lot of the essential oils from the peel. Now you're gonna add some brewed tea. I made this earlier and let it cool down. Stir, stir, stir. Get your glass ready, full of ice. Put a strainer, because I'm gonna catch all the seeds in the chunky nonsense. There we have it. Lemon iced tea, let's give that a taste. Oh, that is so good. And do not leave out the salt. When you pair salt and lemon, something magical happens and it just makes everything taste amazing. Drink number five, strawberry soda. 
Strawberries! Strawberries are good, I guess. I would pretty much prefer to eat any other berry. Raspberries especially are my one of my favorites. And I, the reason I'm kind of lukewarm on strawberries is because the second that you add heat to these, they turn to vomit. All right, I do not want to ever eat a cooked strawberry. Strawberry jam is disgusting. Um, any sort of sauce that involves a cooked strawberry, throw it out. I don't like it. But we're gonna basically apply the same principle that we applied to the lemon iced tea to make a really good strawberry soda. Here's how. So dispatching a strawberry, very simple. I'll do it with this big one right here. First, we're gonna slice off the stem. And then there's kind of a white pithy core that we're gonna get rid of, which is easy if you slice it in half and then sort of come do this in the air, do this on the cutting board. I'm just, I want to illustrate to you how to get rid of that nasty core. There you go. And I think three strawberries is more than enough for a single eight ounce soda. I'm going to chop these up a little bit, give them a head start back into the glass. And I'm going to take one of these lemon slices and squeeze it in there. You want about, oh, about a teaspoon or, and I'm going to go with about three tablespoons of the simple syrup. You could add as much as four. All right, let's get to muddling. All right, so if you muddle this for a good, I don't know, minute or minute and a half, um, you will get a lot of the strawberry goodness out. However, I'm gonna beat the crap out of these strawberries with a stick blender to really get everything that they have to offer. All right, here's what you're gonna be left with. Let's give this a taste. Okay, that's bright and delicious. The only thing I'm not happy with is the color. When you don't cook strawberries, they don't really bleed a lot of that really luscious red into the uh, syrup. So I'm gonna cheat by using some gel food coloring. There we go. Now the syrup is ready. You can use it as is, but I don't like my soda chunky, so I'm gonna strain it out. Get some seltzer, crack it open. We're gonna add about eight ounces. Stir it up so that the syrup doesn't rest at the bottom. And you can pour it into a tall glass of ice. Also, don't forget your straw and a little mint sprig for garnish. And that is a gorgeous looking and probably delicious strawberry soda. Let's give it a shot. That is super refreshing. The fruit, because it's got real fruit in there, it kind of feels heavy on your tongue, almost velvety, like a, I don't know what to compare it to, but it's so refreshing. I'm not even a big strawberry guy, like I said, but this one is obscenely good. Last but not least, colorful juiced, which may or may not contain actual juice. Okay, this next one might be my favorite one, but it's also kind of obscene. Uh, let's make it. Three more tablespoons of our simple syrup. Kool-Aid. You can use any blue drink mix, but I always have blue raspberry lemonade Kool-Aid. It's just something I always have. Milk, eggs, blue raspberry Kool-Aid. Maybe like a quarter teaspoon. You can add more if you want more flavor. You're gonna need a packet. Gushers. A little bit of ice at the bottom. Then a couple gushers. More ice. A few more gushers. Ice. Gushers. Fill it almost to the brim with seltzer, that syrup. Let's garnish it with a lemon slice. Now that is a very colorful juice. Let's give it a shot. That's really good. Um, I made this about three minutes ago. I can already kind of taste the gushers bleeding into the drink. Animal Crossing drinks are <laughs> yummy. Which of these drinks do you want to try? Let me know in the comments. Check out these Animal Crossing recipes. I think you'll like them. See you next time. Bye.